Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is pretty much a tutorial, but most likely a review on Safari 4, which is a great web browser. I'm pretty much sure that you guys know about this. It's a great web browser. I never tried it out until now, and I'm using it right now as you guys are seeing it. Um, it's pretty much different, and the great part about this, it's free of course, and it's not only for Mac, but for PC. So to get this, just go to www.apple.com slash safari slash or you don't have to put the slash just don't put the slash and once you're here um, just click on Safari 4 free download and go ahead and install it and here's the new features features of it so it's called the top sites which is here this is pretty cool it has a 3d effect and when you go to the middle here let me, full history search it's 3d which is pretty cool right there that's nice and cover flow this is for favorites and, and it makes it like that you can look at your bookmarks and wherever you went but that's for history but this is just for favorites and stuff hey look there's Obama um so here's the review of it so let's go check it out so the first part we're gonna do is top sites which is this one so let's go check it out to start to top sites um, it's pretty much up here show top sites click on it and you're at top sites it's pretty much really really good then on Google Chrome Zone because this is, this is 3D and it's pretty much fast the Safari you get to add in sites and whatever um, you get to click on edit which is down here click on edit and you get to edit the sites you can remove them mark as a permanent top site but I'm gonna delete this delete you can you can delete everything for some reason when you first get it it'll keep adding sites because it's from your bookmarks tab I didn't get to add a bookmark, so let me just put Alan. Oops, that's my name. Micro. Okay, there. And yeah, you get to add in sites. So if you want to add in one, it's pretty much uh, not that difficult, but it's for new people out there. You have to put HTTP colon slash slash like YouTube or Yahoo www dot Yahoo dot com. You have to press Control A, drag the text into a window here or a small dialog box in here it's pretty cool and there it is you get to drag it around but you can't right click on it and put a site but it's different and you have to put HTTP because if you just do like www.google.com and you press control A um, it won't go in because you have to have HTTP just a quick tip and yeah that's how you add in sites into it and it's pretty much different just, that's a permanent I mean I'm gonna make this permanent and yeah don't need that I don't know why it's keep adding more I like this uh, transition with it it has a shadow I mean a reflection down here that's pretty cool yeah and it's like sliding like that and that's pretty fun and done when you're done editing it done and you get to put it it's pretty cool you get to add in sites and also to search history which is down here click on that and you get to search your history in here like my YouTube shows up with youtube.com because I went there with, your, with my history it's cool because it shows the thumbnail that is great they should do that in some web browsers but maybe Apple's gonna get mad while you copying my own web browser Steve Jobs and yeah to exit on uh, the history if anybody got stuck here just click on this X right here next to the search history over here and it should uh, close the history. I got a problem there. I didn't know how to exit, but I found it out by clicking down here to close that. And the cool part is about it is the bookmark bar. Uh, when you just uh, click on it, holding cl left click, and you get to drag it out. And you hear this cool effect on it. It's like a sound. That's pretty cool. And also, when you first get Safari, and once you're in it, you go to the site. It says apple.com slash Safari. Welcome. And then when I when you go there when you first get it you should do it automatically but I'm showing you right now you should do like a cool welcome which is like the Macintosh welcome welcome it's pretty much short but it's pretty good and yeah but the bad thing about this you need a good graphics card you need like a uh, 256 megabyte 128 64 and 96 megabytes pretty much fine Nvidia or ATI Intel graphics accelerator 
but yeah it's pretty much great you get to do whatever on it search with your default Google with uh, search browser here's the tools it looks like the one in, in Internet Explorer preferences tabs and you get to add in more the general but uh, when you first get Safari its top sites won't be your default you have to edit it here like your default web browser default search engine of course Google for me new windows open when you press control T it opens with top sites new tabs open top sites your home page I don't really know how to make it set to top sites that's what's pretty odd so yeah those are all the preferences security enable all of this appearance um, you get to put change the text which is pretty good tabs control click opens a link in a new tab there see so yeah, I learned how to use it I just showed pretty much all of it a bit and it's a great web browser I didn't get to show favorites because I don't know how to do favorites here where is favorites I don't know how F control F no that's history hmm control H same thing oh there you go control H shows history your bookmarks bar but I got nothing in my bookmarks bonjour I never heard of that what is bonjour bonjour whatever ORSS feeds important IE favorites guess it's not showing a thumbnail but this is a great web browser I really like it so yeah control H is to open this here top sites it's up there okay I'm good so yeah that's pretty much the review of the Safari 4 and go ahead and get it it's pretty much great and yeah goodbye